In this video, how to get the full URL in PHP. Depending on the server settings and what URL you're working on, the URL may be masked so that you can't use git to pull the details of the URL. So in this video, we're gonna work on how to use the dollar sign underscore server array to put together a URL in PHP. Let's get started. So here on the uh, welcome to the example page on our ideapro.io site, we have the page here. It's just a raw PHP page. Okay. We're going to create a variable called URL and we're just gonna leave it with nothing in it. So I'm going to break down with an if statement, um, the if it's HTTP or HTTPS. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna say if is set dollar sign underscore server, and we're gonna look for HTTPS, okay? So if that's not set and you just say if dollar sign underscore server HTTPS is equal to on, you could cause an error because if that's not set um, for, for whatever reason, right? So if is set HTTPS and dollar sign underscore server HTTPS is equal to on, else then we're gonna do something different here, okay? So if HTTPS is set and it's equal to on, then the URL is HTTPS, which the URL we're working with here, ideapro.io, it is HTTPS. So we're going to concatenate our URL here by using a period equals, okay? And so we created this URL variable here and now we're going to concatenate it here. And basically that means that we're adding on to that string and using that period equals adds on to a string, okay? So now we're gonna say HTTPS, else if it's not HTTPS, we're going to use HTTP, all right? So then down here, we're gonna continue on to create our URL. So we're gonna say URL is equal to, and we need to contain concatenate it, okay? So now that we, because we're concatenating it and we're adding on to that URL variable, we don't have to call URL again and then add on to it that way. It's already added on here. So we start out with the blank URL. We've added on HTTPS or HTTP, depending on whether the site is um, secure or not. And then so here we need to add on the semicolon, two front slashes for the HTTP or HTTPS starting point, okay? So then now we have the HTTP or HTTPS semicolon and two front slashes. Now we need to get the URL and depending on whether it's www or non-www, it doesn't matter either way. We're going to use the dollar sign underscore server HTTP underscore host, okay? So we're going to put a dot here and we're gonna do dollar sign underscore server HTTP host and then we're gonna do a dot and now we need to find everything after the domain, okay? So we're gonna do dollar sign server and that's going to be from the request URI, all right? So now basically we're getting everything after the ideapro.io and in that request underscore URI will include the front slash and example.php. So we've gotten the HTTPS, then we added the dot, uh, semicolon and two front slashes, then using the server 
HTTP host, we got ideapro.io, and then using request URI, we're getting the slash example.php, and anything after that. So if there's a question mark, if there's a variable in the URL, we're going to be able to get that too using that request URI. So if we save this, actually we need to print this out to the screen. So save it like this, we come back and we refresh, and that's as easy as it is to get the HTTPS ideapro.io example.php. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. Thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.